Bhagavat said, What do you think, O Subhuti? Is there anything, any dharma which the Tathagata has adopted from the Tathagata Daipankara, the holy and fully enlightened? Subhuti said, There is not anything which the Tathagata has adopted from the Tathagata Daipankara, the holy and fully enlightened. Bhagavat said, If, O Subhuti, a bodhisattva should say, I shall create numbers of worlds, he would say what is untrue. And why? Because, O Subhuti, when the Tathagata preached number of worlds, number of worlds indeed, they were preached by him as no numbers. Therefore they are called numbers of worlds. Therefore, O Subhuti, a noble-minded bodhisattva should, in this wise, frame an independent mind, which is to be framed as a mind not believing in anything not believing in form, not believing in sound, smell, taste, and anything that can be touched. Now, for instance, Subhuti, a person might have a body and a large body, so his size should be as large as the king of mountains, Sumeru. Do you think then, Subhuti, that his selfhood, he himself, would be large? Subhuti said, Yes, O Bhagavat, yes, O Sugata, his selfhood would be large. And why? Because, O oh Bhagavat, when the Tathagata preached, selfhood, selfhood indeed, it was preached by him as no selfhood. Therefore it is called selfhood. Bhagavat said, What do you think, O Subhuti? If there were as many Ganja rivers as there are grains of sand in the large river Ganja, would the grains of sand be many? Subhuti said, Those Ganja rivers would indeed be many, much more the grains of sand in those Ganja rivers. Bhagavat said, I tell you, Subhuti, I announce to you, if a woman or man were to fill with the seven treasures as many worlds as there would be grains of sand in all those Ganja rivers, and present them as a gift to the holy and enlightened Tathagatas, what do you think, O Subhuti? Would that woman or man on the strength of this produce a large stock of merit? Subhuti said, Yes, O Bhagavat, yes, O Sugata, that woman or man would, on the strength of this, produce a large stock of merit, immeasurable and innumerable. Bhagavat said, And if, O Subhuti, a woman or man, having filled so many worlds with the seven treasures, should give them as a gift to the holy enlightened Tathagatas, and if another son or daughter of a good family, after taking from this treatise of the law one gatha of four lines only, should fully teach others and explain it, he or she, indeed, would, on the strength of this, produce a larger stock of merit, immeasurable and innumerable. Then again, O Subhuti, that part of the world in which, after taking from this treatise of the law one gatha of four lines only, it should be preached or explained, would be like katya, or holy shrine, for the whole world of gods, men, and spirits. What should we say then of those who learn the whole of this treatise of the law to the end, who repeat it, understand it, and fully explain it to others? They, O Subhuti, will be endowed with the highest wonder. And in that place, O Subhuti, there dwells the teacher, or one after another holding the place of the wise preceptor. <laughs>